Hello, this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Halo 4. I will be staying quiet throughout all of the dialogue so you can hear the story. Uh, but yeah, as I say, welcome back to part number, I think we're on part number 7 or 6 or something like that now. I'm starting to lose track a little bit. But yeah, we're at the beginning of the next mission. Infinity to Gypsy Company. The air corridor to the gravity well is blocked by a network of particle cannons. Infinity shields are still down. Open the lane for us to move up and provide air support. Captain, what's Force Recon's assessment of the terrain? I know you've been off the field for a while, Master Chief, but this is a blow-through op. Sending in a recon would just slow us down. Telemetry indicates the particle cannons are being controlled from a command post southwest of our position. Roll on that target and neutralize those guns. We'll meet on the other side and take the gravity well. Infinity out. Okay, so we're trying to take out a gravity well so we can leave I this planet. Like a little more intel with my intel. We'll make it work. We don't need intel, we just need guns. And we've got guns, so we're sorted. Let's do it. So yeah, we'll take out, take out Gravity Well, then we can leave Requiem. Chief, and uh, basically be cowards and run away. CIC. Commander Lasky's waiting for you on the Mammoth. On our way. Okay, looks like I got a BR and an assault rifle. Two uh, classic Halo weapons, of course. Well, What's this? Someone's overcompensating. The hell is this thing? Fox Trot seven six six to Spartan Palmer. We're finally in the air. Can I drive it? It's a bit like the the elephant from Halo Three, but a hell of a lot bigger. It's like a proper building on legs. Ooh, was that a sniper rifle? Where where, where was that? I just ran past a sniper. <gasps> A sniper rifle! My first sniper! The first time touching a sniper and look at the size of that thing! <laughs> it's a little bit too big and clunky in my own opinion, but oh well. Let's see if there's a another one down here, see if I can pick up some extra ammo. There is, there is, of course there is. 20 shots. Sorry, what was that say again? I wasn't standing here. Why did you start talking? Who were you talking to? Palmer again. The mammoth's got jetpacks on board. If I were down there, I'd want one. I want one. I want a jetpack. Actually, jetpacks are going to be pretty useless for me because I play on Bomber Jumper, uh, so I've got to press the, the X button to use my armor abilities. Uh, so it's very awkward for me to use a jetpack. The bird is green. Let's shut down that gravity well so we can go home. Good hunting. Infinity out. Let's do this. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun okay, mission, I can tell already. Let's shake some dirt. Mainly because I got a sniper. Can I, can I get on these as well? Oh, I can. Oh, this is called a mammoth. Apparently, this is a mammoth turret. But I don't want to use the turret. I want to use my sniper rifle. <laughs> and I'm going to be starting off with a challenge, trying to shoot things while moving around as well. We got support from our phantoms in the air. Some very dramatic scenery that looks really nice from a distance, and you zoom in, it looks a bit naff. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to get to these particle cannons. Give me something to shoot then. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. All the pelicans got taken out in one, like, blast. What is that thing? Can I, can I shoot that thing? Surely it's just going to kill us. Um, okay, I don't, I don't think we've got much chance of killing that thing. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here's some enemies to shoot, though. Where are they? See if I can hit my first ever sniper shot. I didn't. I missed my first ever sniper shot in Halo. <laughs> well, in Halo 4. Okay, I don't think a sniper's going to be a particularly useful weapon to use here anyway. My aim's not good enough to do it while I'm moving on this thing. Maybe if I see some elites, I might go for the sniper. But for the grunts, anyway, I guess I can stick with the BR. I hope there's, like, an ammo crate or something around here because I ain't jumping down to get their ammo. I think I can actually just run on and off this thing though because of the ramp at the back. I think I'm not confined to only being on here. There we go. There's my first connected sniper shot in Halo 4. <laughs> Is that a ghost? It's got a ghost on its back. It's carrying a ghost. Can I hit it before it drops it? I think I, think I might have hit it. I might have done a bit of damage to the actual ghost. <laughs> 
got a beam rifle. Want to be careful of that. A DMR would be very useful right here. I realise I've been completely ignoring like what everyone's been saying. Is there a DMR in here? Um, surely, oh, there's so many guns. I'm so spoiled for choice. <laughs> this is like uh, in Matrix when they're like, we need guns. Lots of guns. And they just got like so many. I feel like that. BR's got some decent range. It's annoying though because it doesn't go red, your reticule, and normally when it doesn't go red, you know you're pretty much out of range, but it seems to still do damage even though, like, you haven't got any auto lock on. I suppose it isn't really a problem. You just kind of, you've got to get used to what the range is. Do I, have to, I think I've got to get out. Have I got to go out and go to that objective? I think I do, actually. I don't think the, um, uh, whatever this thing's called again, the mammoth is going to make its way there. And it doesn't look like there's any full damage in this game. Um, certainly not any full damage from a range of that. And if that was Halo Reach, I'm pretty sure I'd have been hurt as I dropped off there. Come on. I swear I hit that there. I think it was just a body shot, though. Yeah, that was an elite. Oh, well, I think, I think I'm doing okay with the sniper so far. I'm, I'm much more of a, a multiplayer sniper rather than a single-player guy anyway. Uh, that's, that's where it really counts. I love the sound of the battle rifle. I'm not sure if I like the look of it. I don't know. It looks a bit... It looks a bit big. All the guns look a little bit too big. They take up a little bit too much of the screen. I did like the uh, the Halo 3 battle rifle, but... It looks a bit more futuristic, though. It's a bit more sci-fi. Sucks i got to get headshots on those elites to take them out. It's well difficult. It'd be good if one got close and I could try and jack it. It's one shot. I can take it out. I've saved someone's life. And I found what's this? Target those phantoms for the railgun to shoot down. Okay, so I guess I I pick on a enemy and then the the thingy will shoot it down. It didn't uh it didn't waste any of my guns either. I got to keep both of my guns as well and um I need to be careful as well because there's a rape here which could do quite a lot of damage to me. Hopefully a few sticky grenades would sort it out. Can I jack it? I'm, I'm close. Come on, let me jack it. I'm so close. I forgot. I keep forgetting that I can sprint. And it blew up. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. And I'm dead. <laughs> okay, that was kind of my fault. But to be honest, um, it was also the fault of my teammates that decided to blow up the wraith as I was like pretty much on top of it. I didn't think anyone would hear me. Sit tight, Marine. We'll get you out of here. Right, let's do a bit more effective this time. Are there any more of those? Okay, oh, I've always got it with me. Okay, I guess it's got a, a recharge time, but I guess I can just carry it around all the time with me. Oh, nearly, nearly shot my teammates there. And where's the wraith? Oh, here's the wraith. Right, oh, don't. Oh, no. That that wraith is causing me a few issues here. Okay, I'm going to, this time, I'm going to grab that thingamajig. Then I'm going to sprint straight back to the mammoth and try and fight my battle from there. Maybe use the, the mammoth cannons. Actually, I, I'm going to target the one that drops the wraith. That's that's the one that drops the wraith. If I get rid of that one, then uh, no wraith. There we go. Big bad boom. Should take away out these guys as well. That was a pretty nice snipe. Getting a bit of practice for the multiplayer. Can't take out that next one yet until it's recharged. This thing looks awesome. I like this thing. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if they added it to a multiplayer map in, like, one of the DLC maps. There's all people here working hard, doing stuff. Hello. Oh, and there's a rocket launcher here as well. Okay, I need to remember that rocket launcher's there. I don't need it right now. There's just too many guns. I'm totally spoilt for choice. I suppose there needs to be a lot for if you're playing this on co-op. Oh, I can take out that thing now. Whoa. That did the trick. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I just pointed to it. Could you seriously not just aim by pointing that thing at it? Do you really need me just to say it's literally right there? Oh, well, I'm doing a bit better now. I'm not getting killed by a wraith over and over again. I might quickly uh, grab some BR ammo before I get back into a fight.
Okay, I need to remember I got this thing, so if I see any vehicles, I can take them out with that. This will do it. I want to see it. There we go. Actually turn and shoot. Big butter boom. Ah, oh, this of course there's two though. Because I'm gonna have to deal with some enemies the old-fashioned way. Actually, I suppose like I could get one of these things and take them out. Oh, it actually locks on as well. There we go. This should take them out pretty quickly. This is actually really reminding me of the um <clears throat> the mission in Gears of War 2. Where you're riding on like one of those massive things. I can't remember what they're called. I think it's called Betty or something. The uh the guy who rides it called it. But yeah, it really reminds me of that. And there's like loads of locusts running around underneath you and stuff like that. And you fight all corpses and stuff. I'm certainly enjoying this campaign so far. I'm seeing three power sources. Shut them down so the mammoth can move through. Cortana went a little bit glitchy there. So hard to aim while you're while you're moving. Can I get it? Come on. Come on. I look like such a retard. It's just the way it's moving. Like there we go. Stay still. I could have just waited a little bit longer. Man, why, why don't headshots kill elites? Kill the jackal, all right. Can I target on anything? No, okay, it looks, it looks like I'm going back down there again. Should have probably have taken the rocket launcher, but oh well. Sniper's more fun. It's annoying they take two headshots to kill. Uh, I think that's just a, a, just a grunt on that ghost. I should be okay to take it out. So what, I guess i got to neutralise these. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here, to be honest. I'm just, I just shoot what I'm told to shoot. Is there a button I've got to press or any easy way? Or have I just got to shoot it and stuff? Yeah, just blow it up. When in doubt, just blow it up. Can I hit these guys? There we go. Apparently there's a wraith somewhere around here. Or is it, it going to be dropped from a phantom? Oh, looks like my fella's moving up. I just can't get the angle to hit it. I know what I do. I have a jetpack. That didn't help me at all. I'm getting out of here because um, yeah, I'm losing all my shit. I'm not, I'm not getting killed by that one little ghost. <laughs> or oh, not yet, anyway. I can't hit it. Come on, it's only a grunt. Let's, let's, let's see how well the, the ghost can withstand the R fire. Looks like it dies relatively quickly from it, actually. And uh, I can hear now getting this ghost. <laughs> well, that's an easy way to do it. Seemed pretty effective. I think I might try that on the last one. Just just smash into it. And oh my god, friendly fire, guys. Friendly fire. <laughs> right, where, where's that other Wraith? I need to go take him out. I can use my little whatever this thing's called again to take it out. Oh god, there's another ghost here now, though. Looks like my mammoth has given me some pretty good support. Oh, can I jack it, jack it, jack it? Oh, I got splattered. It, it was moving so slowly. How did that manage to splatter me? Uh, I suppose I, I might as well use my last four shots here, taking out these last fellas. Uh, anyone else? See if I can go for a no-scope. I can go for one, but I don't mean I'm going to hit it. There we go. My final shot was an absolutely epic, amazing no-scope. I'll put that in my montage. <laughs> There's just one enemy here inside the shield. You right, buddy? You're right, mate. Look at him just staring at me on the other side. Oh no, no, he's not staring at me. Now he's charging at me. Uh, let's let's go for the noob combo, shall we? You didn't like that, <laughs> cowards. Oh, awesome. I haven't, been, I haven't been doing enough assassination kills in this, have I? Let's do a few here. How do you like my knife in your face? Look, I've turned you into a unicorn. Ah, forget it. I use grenades. Can't bother to stand here all day mailing it. I was thinking about saving ammo. <laughs> I'm ready. Could probably just jetpack on it, to be honest, rather than going through that doorway. 
You don't seem to be able to uh, jetpack quite as high as you did in Halo Reach. Let me just go and try and find some of these rocket launchers. Uh, there we go. There's, there's another rocket launcher down there as well, so I can get some uh, more ammo if I need to resupply. Certainly very well equipped in this mission. Oh, another one of these things. Oh, why am I throwing grenades at it? For some reason, I pressed left trigger to zoom in there. I haven't done that in a while. Oh, no, I need that to recharge. Oh, dear, they're all over me. Right, let's 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 use one of these things. Oh, there's a wreck. Okay, there's a wraith down there. And I'm getting... Whoa, that is very close to me. Oh, I don't even know what to shoot. There's, there's too many stuff. <laughs> Just take out the wraith first. That's probably the, the most dangerous thing to me. I'm going to get out of the way before that wraith shot hits me. Uh, can I use this thing again yet? I know they got rid of my things. Uh, shoot them. Shoot them would do. Oh, there's ammo and stuff down here. Don't really think I need ammo. Okay, there's a there's a rocket hog here. This should do the trick. This is where I wish I was playing on co-op. I think, that, I think that's probably the, the best way to play the Halo campaign. I mean, they're fine by themselves. They're still very enjoyable for the story and stuff, but nothing beats playing with a team of people when you've got people riding around in mongooses and you're driving a warthog and the other person's shooting. It's like, I think if they, they cut out co-op in the campaign, there'd be one hell of a big uproar. I mean, I think some of my favorite memories from Halo 1 weren't actually the multiplayer. It was the co-op campaign. I love the co-op campaign and multiplayer and finding glitches and trying to get up the map and doing like warthog launching and stuff it was so much fun and this this is what i don't like about halo 4 actually i don't like these invisible walls we never got that in past halos they always added some kind of boundary there but i think there's gonna be another invisible wall here to be honest i oh, know maybe not i can carry on going this way i think that it wouldn't have been hard just to add some sort of shield or door there to make it a bit more believable rather than just an invisible wall Oh, and here's a Wraith. Oh, God, be careful. I think, I think it's best to probably stay a bit closer to Wraiths because uh, they have a very long range with their thing. And Rocket Hogs are normally quite powerful. Actually, this isn't called a Rocket Hog. I think it's called like a, a Gorse Hog or something like that. Something weird. These are ridiculously powerful, though, especially in multiplayer. I don't know if they're being toned down in this game, but in past games, they're pretty much a one hit kills, kills pretty much everything. And oh, I've been blown up again. I think the teammates have been more trouble to me in this playthrough than the enemies have been. The amount of times I've been blown up by my team or died because my teammate tried to shot a warthog or a wraith, sorry, when I was right next to it. Oh well, I suppose it was my fault. I did probably drive a little bit too close to the wraith. Okay, where are they all? Oh dear. <laughs> sorry. I don't know if I should shoot and let him drive. Should I try shooting for a bit? Let, let's see what happens. I'm probably going to live to regret this, but he seemed to be a little bit useless when he was shooting. Let's see Let's see if I can do a little bit better. It's also a good test for the AI. If you really want to test an AI, give them control of a vehicle and see what they do. Um, he's, he's a little bit confused at the moment. Um, he's trying to decide where to go. Oh, where's, where's he driving me to? I am already regretting giving this guy the, the vehicle. I'm already regretting giving him the uh, the steering wheel. Okay, here we go. He's, he's found the enemies now, at least. And he drives straight into a wraith. I would moan, but that's exactly what I did. Come on, get back, get back. Woo! Okay, well, we're doing a little bit better. At least I got rid of the the, the wraith. And uh, let's try and disable a few of these ghosts. I think, they, I think they all take two hits to get destroyed. And I think I've hit them all once. I just need to hit them all once more, and they should all just blow up. This, this thing has like zero splash damage. <laughs> I tried to shoot behind the ghost. It did absolutely nothing. <laughs> My favourite part was when he died. <laughs> they always try and have a few a few witty jokes and easter eggs and stuff in Halo games. I remember actually in Halo 3, uh, Jonathan Ross actually does um, some of the uh, commentary. What's going on? I need to get into that, do I? Oh dear God! Why did I get out? Why did I get out my vehicle? Run, 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 run! <laughs> just ignore the enemies. Ignore the enemies. Just keep running. Only kill the ones that are in front of you. What? What gun have I got? Oh, I got a rocket launcher, don't I? Totally forgot about that. 
That would have been very useful, actually, back there. <laughs> Use it to take out these elites now. I should have probably saved that for uh, taking out a vehicle, but oh well. Okay, does this does this lift me up? This is like a, a tractor beam, is it? It is. And now I'm inside it. So I guess I've got to take this out from the inside. This kind of reminds me of uh, taking out the scarabs in some of the past Halo games, where you've got to try and like climb up inside to take it out. Well, that was the most effective way to take them out anyway. <laughs> Oh dear, there's enemies everywhere. Well, I've still got a rocket launcher in my back pocket though, so nothing should hurt me too much. And oh god, there's like a high rank elite here. Oh, and I just blew myself up. I just literally shot the wall directly in front of me. Oh, where was the last checkpoint? Please be recent. Uh, where am I? Okay, right, it's right here. This is okay. We can, we can carry on. I promise I'm generally not this bad at Halo. Normally when I'm not commentating and I'm just playing, I actually do okay. It's just... It's just the pressure of people watching, you know? It just gets to me. <laughs> Even though I'm just very bad at multitasking, I'm not good at playing while chatting. So maybe I should just shut up for a bit and just, just start trying to shoot some things. I bet you're all like, oh god, thank god, Stampy Longnose is going to shut up. <laughs> okay, well, I know what's coming now. I know this fella's going to come down here. Oh no, he's not. He's going to come from there. Oh dear. Maybe I shouldn't use the rocket launcher in here. Maybe, maybe there isn't enough room for me to use it. And can I shoot through here? I can. Oh, I thought that was like a shield. I can hit them from here. Okay, that might make things a little bit easier. Uh, ah, suicide grunt, get back. Oh, lucky there's grenade indicators now. I can I can tell if I'm in get blown up range. And uh, okay, this this is I guess this is what I got. This is just like the scarabs, isn't it? Uh, from Halo Three and Halo Two. There was one in Halo Two as well. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to destroy this and then then this whole thing's going to get taken down. Can I just jump off it? Can I just jump off it and land here? Nope, nope, I can't. I've died absolutely again. I didn't think there was any full damage in this. Maybe, maybe I'm going to go back down the tractor beam. Oh, don't start me here again. Okay, right, let's see how quickly I can do this again. Sorry for wasting your time. That was, uh, I guess, down to my ignorance of the game. I thought that I would have survived that jump. I guess not. Do I have to go back down the tractor beam then? Or do I just have to wait for it to, to fly lower, then go back down? Can I rocket any of these guys from up there? Maybe not. Oh god, here's the elite. Get away, get away. Woo, that was close. Try and get my shield back up. Grunts don't really pose any threat whatsoever in this game. <laughs> they seem to be even more useless than they normally are, and they're they're normally pretty useless. <laughs> I think there's one more elite up round in here somewhere. Let's see if I can five shot him. Oh. Okay, I think he's he's dead somewhere. Oh god. I thought that, I thought that was a sticky grenade. Okay, do I go back down the way I came up? Can I go back down where where even was it? Um Am I just gonna blow up while I'm in here? Can I go back down here? I don't even know if I can. Oh the jetpack! The jetpack! Oh no! I don't know, I'm not gonna make it! Am I out? Come on, fly, 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 fly. No, I'm dead again. I'm dead again. Come on, I'm so close. Make it. Ah, oh, I died again. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to make you watch this. Oh, <laughs> start doing the next bit of dialogue there. Okay, okay, it's only starting me off from here. Okay, I'll, I'll just carry on. I was going to cut ahead, but as soon as I started off from just here, it should be okay. I'm just going to charge forward and just blow up this thing again and let that be it. Right. No. I don't know why I didn't think about using the jetpack jet in the first place. Well, I didn't think there was any full damage, to be fair, so I didn't think I was going to die at all. Here we go. Hopefully, I can jetpack straight down and land back on this mammoth. Then I can, then I can enjoy the fireworks display. Let's, let's see this thing blow up. Doesn't look healthy. It's going to go. It's going to go. Come on, blow up. Why are you going all the way over there? <laughs> And now it's gone. All of the way, just like completely, just disappeared. Then you just saw debris. Thanks, Chief. It was getting a bit dicey there for a minute. Hey, yeah, you tell me. I was in it. Okay, I'm actually going to uh, end the video here because um because uh, I feel like it's going to get very close to the the half an hour mark. Okay, stop chatting. I'm sending teams out to pull some of their fire off you, so you can make it to the gravity well. Okay. Oh my god, stop speaking. 
Okay, this is the end of the video now. No, it's not. Stop speaking. Stop interrupting me, people. Right, that's it. I'm pausing the game because every time I try and sign off the video, uh, someone starts trying to give me some more dialogue. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry for uh, failing quite a bit at the end as I kept dying, but I got there in the end. I worked out what I had to do. Uh, so hopefully you're enjoying this Let's Play. Uh, I've been Stampy Long Nose here making these uh, Let's Play videos for the channel I Halo Zone on YouTube. Uh, so hopefully you are enjoying these and you will continue uh, to watch the rest of the ones. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you all later. Goodbye.